Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's your boy B. Dot Adams, fifty one thirty eight. We are live once again at Adams Barbershop, fifty one thirty eight West Madison, Chicago, Illinois six zero six four four. Today, we are talking about the importance of having your barber's license. The importance of being a professionally licensed barber. Trust me, I know a lot of you all, you're thinking the same thing I thought back when, you know, especially now, it was di different then. I didn't have so much of social, the social media outlet that everybody has now when I started, but don't get caught up in the social media barber thing, the, the Instagram fame, barber fame, whatever you want to call it. Don't get caught up in any of that. Please, please, please go to school, get your barber's license, become professionally licensed, do it the right way, put your time in. It's very imperative to your barber career that you do this. I have people all the time that ask me, uh, could I teach them how to cut? Could I show them how to do this? Could they watch me and all type of things? And I always tell them, I say, yeah, I could do all of that, but you should just go to school. You go to school and you can learn from the ground up. You know, you can start from the bottom up there. there. You'll go through the whole run, put your 1500 hours in and boom, you'll be together. So by the time you get out of school, and then you get to me, I'll fine tune you to everything that you need to be fine tuned with that you didn't learn in school. So, um, yeah, please go to school. And like I say, it's 1500 hours. It may seem like an eternity, but you got to do it. You got to knock it out. Um, when I went, I I went, I got, and they even have grants. Like, I got a grant to go to barber school. And, you know, no excuses. I even, I even tell you my story, no excuses. Um, I enrolled in barber school. Um, I got the grant. I believe it was the Pell Grant. I believe, sure. I, I'm not so sure, but I believe it was the Pell Grant. Um, and I had a BS, BS marijuana case on my record. May have been a couple of them, I'm not too sure. But, um, and the condition for me to get this grant and go to school was I had to go through like a drug program. And I'm sitting here like, you know, I ain't no drug addict, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, you know. So, I had, that's one thing. I So, I went to a couple of the classes or whatever, like, <clears throat> and I just, you know, and, you know, I know a lot of people that's, that are fighting that addiction, you know, as I'm pretty sure we all do, and I personally just didn't want to sit there and, you know, be in the class or whatever. And by the grace of God, being in school, I was cutting a reverend's hair every week. And I told, I ended up telling him what my situation was. And he said, I got a solution for you. He said, I run a drug program at my church. He say, so I'll take care of you. And he did. And I didn't see him after I got out of barber school. So if you out there and you watching, somehow, by some way, you can see this. Thank you. I definitely appreciate you. You are definitely one of the reasons why I was able to get out of school and complete my barber journey and I appreciate you. I thank you because that was a great help to me because it was, you know, mentally it was, you know, I it was it was tough. You know, young kid, at that time I'm 20, 21, 20, 21, 21, something, yeah, 2021, you know, so it's like 
Yeah, so uh, thank you. Thank you. But, uh, yep. So, it's, like I say, no excuses. No excuses. I did what I had to do. I got out of Barber School. I studied for the test. <laughs> gotta study for the exam you gotta i mean these are just things like no success happens overnight it's no bam and it happens nothing nothing you want to do in life just happens bam just like that you have to put the time and the work in to be able to have the freedom to be the type of barber that you want to be so go to school go to school if this is the career path that you want to do if this is really what you want to do do it and you trust me you do not have to know how to cut hair to become a great awesome barber it was in my family gene i'm a fourth generation barber so i came up in the barber shop i kind of had no choice <laughs> i had a choice but i didn't have a choice if you understand what i'm saying so but luckily i loved it i actually taught myself how to cut when i first cut hair I was um, about 12, 13 years old. I picked it up on my own and just started doing it. But I was looking at my grandfather, my father, my uncle. I was looking at them do it the whole time. And I picked it up on my own and just made my own way with it to become good at it. And that was like, that let my father and them know that I really wanted to do it because I did it on my own. Like I was, I, I taught myself how to do it. So I really did when I was genuinely interested in doing it. So no, you do not have to already know how to cut hair <laughs> to get into the, to want to know how to cut hair. You do not have to already know how to cut hair to want to know how to cut hair go to school all you have to have is the interest the want to know how to do it and you will become the greatest barber you will become better than barbers who are talented because you want to have you have to drive the passion for it so yeah go to school go to school look into your local your local area where all of your barber schools are google it google is your best friend Look it up, find out where you can get in, find out about the grants. They have grants for you to go to barber school. Grants, non-repayable money, grants for you to have your barber's license. You, yes, you need it. So do that, do that. If you want to become a professional barber, I urge you to get your barber's license. And it works out for you because after you graduate barber school, then you can maximize your career to whatever fullest potential that you may have, want to display anything, anywhere, at any time. You can work in any shop because you have a barber's license. Um, you, can, you can do your thing. You can freely do your thing. If you wanna be a celebrity, personal barber, I mean, you can, you know, you can do it but it starts with going to school it starts with putting the time in it starts with really taking your craft seriously and getting your barber's license that's where it starts um, now you can also while you're in school that favorite barber that you like so much that you ask the same question that I've been luckily enough luckily enough yeah We'll just say something. Blessed. I've been blessed enough to be asked that question. Um, you could come stand next to me, you know, ask me tips, you know, and, and we could go back and forth for at what point you are in school and I, you know, we could go from there. So, I mean, it's no problem. I have no problem showing anybody anything. If you want to see the blending, I'm a major fan of blending. I love to blend hair. Uh, the designs, the graphics, I love all of that type of thing. Um, I'm just infatuated with the art side of hair. Um, making, I, I'm not an, I try not to be average. I try to 
be, I try to maximize the potential of every canvas that I get. So, um, that's why, I mean, I, 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 I was no exception. I just told you. Self-taught, I was cutting hair since, started at 12 years old. I was cutting hair all through high school, cutting my friend's hair, cutting my hair, doing everything, the whole basement barber thing, the whole shebang. I still had to go to school. I had to go to school so I can be in the pros, so I can have that paperwork. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it's just a different feeling. It's just you're in a different league. Trust me, you are in a different league. I don't care what nobody says, how they tell you. You have to go to school. You have to put your time in. You have to have that paperwork. You have to go take your state exam. Think about it. When you go and take your state exam, this is just a, another notch for you to put on your belt, another chip to put on your shoulder, to let you know that being a professional barber is just what it is. It's the profession of barber. When you go in to take your state exam, you're taking it with people taking their, their exams to become doctors, lawyers, Anything you have to take a state exam regarding, you're all in the same room. I didn't, I don't know if you know that or not. We're all in the same room. When we go take the test, you're all in the same room. So, go to school so you can have that experience and start your journey the right way. Start your journey the right way and go whatever direction you want to go. You can go to the moon. You can do whatever you want to do. But get your barber's license first. Go in and put your time in. Start from the bottom. Work your way to the top. I don't care how long you've been cutting hair. You can be the Picasso, the Basquiat of the hair world. If you've never went to school and gotten your barber's license to be a professionally licensed barber, then, I mean, we're not in the same conversation. I don't care what you say. So, go to school. Please urge everybody, everybody that wants to be in it. I don't care if you white, black, blue, green. I don't care who you are. If you want to do this, if you have a passion for this right here, go to school. Go to school and get it done and do whatever you want to do. And don't let nobody try to talk you out of it. Don't let nobody try to discourage you or try to tell you, oh, you ain't got to go to school. You could just do X, Y, Z. Yeah, you might could do that. You, you probably could do that. But if I'm telling you, that they're giving you grants. If it's about money, if it's not about whatever it is, if I'm telling you they're giving you grants, free money for you to go to school and be a professional, why would you let somebody talk you out of that? Do it the right way. My, my motto is always think the bigger you think, the bigger you become. If you, if, you, if you give yourself an excuse, then that's what you'll be. You'll be an excuse. So don't be an excuse. Be big business. Be as big as you can be. Because when you're one of the pros, you have no limits. You can do whatever you want to do. You have no limits. Okay? No limits. And now that we've gotten that out the way, you know what you got to do. Yes. You got to subscribe to the channel. You got to subscribe to the channel. You got to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to the channel. Everybody get in tune. Adams5138 is the channel. Subscribe. Tell everybody. Comment. Please comment under here. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know. Let me know. Get in the comment section. Get in the subscribe section to hit the button. Get in the like section to hit the like. I don't know if they all call sections, but do it. And after you finish subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing the videos, telling a friend to tell a friend, you know where you can get in tune with us. Get in tune with me, B.Adams.com. 
5138 on Instagram. You can get in tune with us on Facebook at the like page. Adam's Barbershop Facebook like page. Like the page. Share some stuff. Look at some stuff. Get in tune with us. Um, Google us. We are Googleable. You can Google us. Alan's Barbershop. Leave a review. Give us a rating. Let us know what you think. Call us to get a service. I'm B. Adams. You know what it is. I'll holler at y'all on the next run.